What it do YouTube, it is your boy KP here coming back at you with the Face It Major Pick'em Predictions for Part 2 or the Legend Stage Top 16 of the Major. Let's get right into these picks. So going to the Watch Matches and Tournaments, it's going to pull up your uh, the Challenger Stage picks. As you can see we got 5 out of 9 points which is not bad, it's still more than half and again this is kind of just like a bonus stage because all of these are only 1 point each. Um, Astralis choked the o, uh, the three O. Complexity somehow went through. I don't I don't even know. And North and Gamut just blow cock. So anyways, going on to the Pick'em group stage, you just want to click on that tab right there, and boom, here we go. We got the new set of picks. Um, this is the important part because each correct pick earns three points instead of one point. So this is where we really rack up the points. Um, getting right into it, three O. I'm putting Phase. Um, just because I want to put teams that I know are going to advance 100 million percent in the seven remaining slots and like Astralis choke the 3-0 and like Navi I don't think is going to 3-0, Maus could 3-0 and MIBR is kind of sketchy too. So I'm putting FaZe just because I feel like right now they have the best chance to 3-0. Um, as far as the 0-3 goes, out of every single team on this list, I honestly believe every single team could win at least one map, except for one team. That is Windstrike. 100% Windstrike's going 0-3, and if they don't go 0-3, I mean, I'll eat a raw egg. I don't fucking know. But literally, Windstrike blows. Like, they have not won a map in, like, months. So, just looking at this team list, I like there's like even complexity could win a map. Tyloo could win a map. Vega is gonna win a map probably. But Windstrike, there's no way they win a map. Um, if you don't know, Windstrike is Quantum Bellator Fire from the last major, but they rebranded into Windstrike. All right, with those two settled, let's do the remaining seven teams. So first of all, I'm just gonna blow through these. Navi should 100% be going through. Um, they've been looking good. I think they're the number two or number three team in the world right now. Mao's 100% going through. I don't see how they don't go through. NIP, probably a good pick. I'm putting them at like 80%, 75% to go through. Um, they looked really, really solid in the first stage. They even 3-0'd and they beat Astralis in the final map. Uh, they just look like they're back. And uh, when NIP's back, I mean, they obviously always make top eight at the majors. Uh, fourth pick, Liquid. 100%. Liquid just went 3-0 in the last stage. They've been boot camping for like two weeks for this major. Liquid looks on point as fuck. They look primed and ready. Like, this liquid is creamy liquid, boys. Um, okay, fifth pick. Fifth, six, and seven. These are the teams that I feel strong... Oh, wait, no. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. I fucked up. Astralis. 100% going through. There's no way Astralis doesn't go through. All right, last two picks. These are two picks that I feel strongly about, but I'm not 100% that they're gonna go through. Um, so first of all, MIBR. Uh, I mean, in reality, it's SK, guys. It's SK plus Tarek and Stewie 2 k um, In reality, they should be going through unless they just fat choke on a chode. So that's why I'm putting MIBR because it's basically SK. This final pick, this final pick could honestly be up to you. There's so many good teams here. Personally, based off results, past majors, the players' experience, um, history, I'm going to go with Fnatic. Because there are players on Fnatic um, who have made the playoffs at a major like 9 out of 10 times. Like literally, I think Crims has made it every time. And then JW, Flusha, and them have only missed it once when they were on Godsend. So that's why I'm going with Fnatic. I mean, my heart, if it was just voting based off my heart, I'd pick Big because I love Big. But Fnatic just has the history of always making top 8 out of Major. Looking at this, what I chose. Other good picks. Possibly G2. Possibly Hellraisers. I do not think Cloud9, Vega, or Tyloo will go through. I honestly do not, and Complexity, I do not think they will go through. Um, I think if you're going to substitute any one of my picks, go Cloud9, G2, or Big. 
those are the only three. Besides that, I think my picks are rock fucking solid, and if if everything goes how it should go, normally, with no upsets, or like little upsets, these should be the teams going through, because these teams are on another fucking level than every other team. Um, and again, I put FaZe as my 3-0, because even if FaZe doesn't go 3-0, I will get points because I put Astralis in the 7 teams that will advance. So I'm kind of playing like a strategy here, because in the previous stage, I didn't get points for Astralis, even though Astralis went through, I didn't get points for them because I put them as 3-0. So that's why in this stage, I'm putting FaZe as 3-0, and I'm putting Astralis to advance. That way I'm guaranteed, I'm literally guaranteed those 3 points, because I know Astralis is going through. Um, honestly, I think my thing is fucking perfect. Uh, I think this is guaranteed at least 21 points or higher. Um, again, if Windstrike somehow wins a map, I'll eat a raw egg on stream. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any other comments or predictions, or you guys want to let me know what you picked, let me know down in the comments below. I really liked the discussion we had in the last video. There's a ton of people chiming in, and that was dope. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think about my picks. I think this is really fucking solid. I don't know, like what else you would pick besides the teams that I picked, and the ones that I mentioned, of course. Um, but these are the strongest teams right now, and this is what should be happening. So if everything goes to plan, we'll definitely be guaranteed bronze, and then we'll be going into bracket play with, you know, silver and gold up for grabs. Anyways, guys, that's it for this Pick'em Challenge prediction video. Um, let me know down in the comments below all your thoughts, uh, opinions, you know, what teams you switched, what teams you kept. Um... And let me know, let me know if you think someone else is going to go 0-3, because I'd really love to hear that. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Catch you later. Peace!